Hello, I am Reverend Dr. LaShante Walker. Welcome my fellow young adult leaders to RH Boys Vacation Bible School. This year's inspiring theme is Claim Your Crown. The passage of scripture for this year's theme is 2 Timothy, 1 chapter, 5th through the 9th verse. The Vacation Bible School lessons are designed to inspire students to praise God through leadership. Students will be invited to go on a spiritual journey to seek and find the paths that will lead to God's promises. Ultimately, this incredible journey will teach students how to claim the crown that is waiting for them when they learn how to be a model leader doing the right thing even in times of crisis and praising God through it all. This results in the shift from bearing a cross to wearing a crown. In the theme scripture focus, Paul challenges a young Timothy to stand strong in his belief in God. Every Christian, regardless of age or experience, is expected to rise and be a leader. Students will learn that by being a leader who relies on the power of God, they will be able to do the works of God with a grace that will glorify God. Those who show up as God's leaders can claim their crown. Lesson one, a model for leadership. Scripture focus, 2 Timothy, the second chapter, fifth through the ninth verse. In this lesson, we learn that being a leader requires obedience, perseverance, and faithfulness. There is no crown without commitment. There will be sweat, tears, and many hours spent when you are loyal to your call to leadership. For example, just as you would spend time and energy practicing as an athlete to reach the goal of being the best, you will be faced with hardship and difficulties that will call for the drive to keep going to successfully meet your goals as a leader. Discuss the different types of leadership models that people often demonstrate. For example, transformational leadership and servant leadership. Transformational leaders are change agents who inspire followers to accomplish great things. Servant leaders make serving others a priority by focusing primarily on the growth and well-being of people and the communities to which they belong. Allow students to share examples of leaders who they have found to be the most impactful in their lives. Ask each student to share what type of leader they are or in the process of becoming. Lesson two, leadership in crisis. Scripture focus, Esther chapter four through six. Queen Esther teaches us that there is responsibility that comes with being a leader. She was a young woman and had only served in her position as a queen for a short time. Yet her position came with the call to be courageous in a time of crisis. As Christians, the crown we have been called to wear requires us to serve others. Service to others can sometimes prove to be difficult, but the reward is that others can be helped because of our personal sacrifice. Summarize the book of Esther to provide context of how Esther came into her position as Queen of Persia. Discuss with students the significance of Esther's preparation before she courageously met with the king to help save the Jewish community. Discuss the importance of Esther developing a strategy before taking action. Ask students to share various crisis situations they have endured or witnessed. Have your students share how they responded to a crisis or what they think the best response should be in a crisis situation. Play a song that inspires students in their bold and brave act to serve as a leader in a crisis. Something like Kiara Shears Kelly, Something Has to Break. Lesson three, do the right thing. Scripture focus, 2 Kings chapters 22 through 23. King Josiah was a boy king who became a leader at eight years old, a very early age. Although Josiah was young and did not have experience and training prior to becoming king, he did the right thing and faithfully served God. Josiah is an example to us all that regardless of your age, training, or background, we have the capacity to serve as leaders and we can choose to do the right thing. Summarize Josiah's life. 
sharing with students how Josiah stood out in his royal lineage by doing the right thing as king. Ask students if they have ever experienced being the first in their family to accomplish something great. Then invite students to discuss how it made them feel to do something that would bring positive change to their lives and the world around them. A relatable song to play for your students is Make It Right by Maverick City Music. Lesson four, leadership through praise. Scripture focus, Exodus the 15th chapter, verses 20 through 21. Miriam was a prophet who also happened to be the sister of Moses. Miriam was not afraid to speak up or help lead the way. Miriam's leadership through praise teaches us how to celebrate the power of God. We can demonstrate our praise through dancing, singing, and telling our own story about God's greatness. Summarize the story of Miriam, including how Miriam's leadership began very early in life. Miriam, as a young girl, stood watch over her baby brother Moses and help ensure he had proper care. Invite the class to discuss how significant it was for a woman to be recognized as a prophet in the Bible and to be viewed as a great leader among the people. Miriam broke through barriers and is one of the few women listed by name in the scriptures. Remind students that there are women who are still breaking gendered leadership barriers in our society. Give examples of these women, such as Vice President of the United States, Kamala Harris, CEO of R.H. Boyd, Dr. LaDonna Boyd, Georgia gubernatorial candidate, Stacey Abrams, actor and producer, Marseille Martin, and founder of Blavity, Morgan DeBond. Lesson five, from bearing a cross to wearing a crown. Scripture focus, Philippians, the second chapter, fifth through the 11th verse. This lesson teaches us that leadership requires humility and obedience. Jesus sacrificed his life so the entire world could have eternal life. As a result of this ultimate sacrifice, Jesus was exalted by God. Jesus teaches us that bearing a cross temporarily results in wearing a crown eternally. Lead students in a discussion using the leadership trait words provided for the lesson service, humility, loving, and caring. Ask students to focus on at least one of the words and describe how they live out that word in their daily life. Invite students to reflect on the sacrifices civil rights leaders and activists have made in our history. Use various men and women like Martin Luther King Jr., Mahalia Jackson, Fannie Lou Hamer, John Lewis, and C.T. Vivian as examples. Reference the movie Selma as an account of how many of these leaders demonstrated their sacrifice and bore the heavy weight of the cross to achieve equal rights and fair treatment. A great song to share with the students is Glory by John Legend and Common. Finally, take a moment to encourage students that their service and sacrifice as a leader does not go unnoticed. Their moments of bearing a cross will lead them to claiming their crown. Defining the key words found in each lesson for your students will help to support the principles learned. It will help foster discussion on the lesson topic to ensure students understand how to apply the principles of each lesson to their everyday lives. Day's one word is zeal. The definition of zeal is great energy or enthusiasm in pursuit of a cause or an objective. Day two's word is courage. The definition of courage is the ability to demonstrate strength in the face of pain, grief, and fear. Day three's word is determination. The definition of determination is the firmness of purpose, having the strength of will and exhibiting boldness, being persistent and brave. Day's four word is praise. The definition of praise is the expression of approval or admiration for someone or something. Day five's word is service. The definition of service is the action of helping or doing work for someone. Each lesson includes review and let's talk sections to help reinforce the lesson through discussion and activities. 
be sure to encourage students to utilize the Leadership Journal as an additional resource to help create meaningful reflection on the principles learned through the study of scriptures for each lesson. Imagine the takeaways students will gain by reflecting on their personal leadership goals and aspirations. We invite you to visit rhboy.com for more activity ideas and to order or download additional VBS resources. Thank you for joining us again for RH Boys 2022 VBS, Claim Your Crown. Remember, God has called us to walk boldly in our gifts and calling, serving as leaders in the world around us. By serving as Christian leaders with grace, we can claim our crowns.